The Rosa Parks Museum on the Montgomery campus of Troy University held their third annual Juneteenth celebration to commemorate the day that slaves in the state of Texas were told they were free. This year, local vendors lined the streets, there was live music and speakers for the day's events. But what better place to celebrate freedom for African Americans than here at the Rosa Parks Museum, uh, where Mrs. Parks exercised her freedom to protest peacefully on December 1st, 1955. People from across the state of Alabama came to participate in this year's Juneteenth celebration held here at Rosa Parks Museum. People like Ms. Joyce O'Neill spoke about what Juneteenth means to them. Juneteenth means recalling and celebrating the date that a lot of African Americans found out they were no longer enslaved. That's what Juneteenth means to me. Joyce Coffin, one of the members of the band, the Red Mountain Yellow Hammers, and one of the speakers at the day's events, spoke about how she wanted to inform the people there about the impact African Americans have had on country music. People don't know about country music that that blacks even played it, you know, because it's so white now. You never, other than Charlie Pride, you never hear of a black country musician. So I wanted people to know that, and not only that they played this kind of music, but they played it kind of better than everybody else. The Juneteenth celebration was an all-day event that went on from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. From Montgomery, I'm Octavius Osmond, Troy Trojan Vision News.